one. So today we're going to talk about wolf teeth. We get a lot of questions on that and there's a lot of um, information floating around. So I think it, first off it's important to understand what is a wolf tooth. A wolf tooth is a vestigial tooth. So if we look, we have six big cheek teeth here. We have three premolars and three molars. And then if you look, you can see this tiny little tooth right here that's very shallow rooted. You can see how when I move my finger on it, it actually moves too. So this is technically considered the first premolar. It's, it's really kind of a vestigial tooth that's left over from millions of years of evolution and that serves no purpose. So I think the best way to understand it is, is to simplify things. So number one, it serves no purpose. There, it doesn't help in grinding food. It doesn't have any benefit that, that we know of. So it's basically useless is the more straightforward way to put it. Um, occasionally it can cause some problem with bidding. Now there's some people, there's a um, kind of a group of people in recent years that have come across and say, no, wolf teeth are not necessary to be extracted. Just leave them, you know, and, and so people are asking, oh, well, should, should we take them out? Should we leave, leave them? What should we do? The reason for taking them out or the reasoning behind it is that because it's very small and shallow rooted, if the bit bangs up against it, that can cause some pain and discomfort. The argument that some people make is, well, the bit doesn't really sit there, it doesn't contact those teeth, and so uh, it's fine. And just like most things, it comes down to nuance. It's not always black and it's not always white. There's, there's some subtleties that have to be factored in. Sometimes a bit does contact that area because we routinely see horses where their first big premolar, the number six tooth, actually contacts the bit um, because we can see chew patterns on it. So in some cases, the bit can go back that far. Uh, in most cases, I tend to agree, it's probably not a big problem. But in some cases, they can be a big problem. So my, you know, I think the other thing that's important to understand is that Everything here is opinions. It's my opinion and other people have opinions. This is not fact based on prospective studies. There are no prospective studies out there. So anybody telling people we should never pull wolf teeth out, that's based on their opinion, which is fine, or experience. I'm giving you my opinion, my experience, and you can take that with a grain of salt uh, because that's all it is. But my opinion on it is that even if in a relatively small percentage of horses it can cause a problem, uh, maybe it's five horses out of a hundred, maybe it's two horses out of a hundred, maybe it's twelve, I don't know the number, but occasionally it will cause an issue. And the, the fact is, is there's really no risk if it's done with proper technique. Uh, there's always some risk, but if with over 20 years of experience doing this, I've never had a problem with the wolf tooth extraction. Uh, not to say that you know, there is a blood vessel there that you could damage if you're using poor technique uh, or if the horse isn't restrained. If you're not using proper extraction technique, some people just break off the wolf teeth. Yeah, you can have some root fragments that can cause bidding issues, but assuming you have good proper training, good technique, good sedation, good blocks, um, the complication rate's pretty much zero, at least in, in our experience. So on the one hand, I have zero complication rate there is a, a percentage chance of the, the wolf tooth causing uh, bidding issues for the horse. Uh, and the other thing is horses are not stagnant. You could have a really skilled rider that has a lot of experience bidding the horse, ride a horse with a wolf tooth and uh, not have an issue. There's nothing to say that this person may not sell the horse down the road to some child that doesn't have the same amount of experience and maybe it's not gonna use the same uh, type of bit, and that all of a sudden they pull back a little harder and that makes contact with that wolf tooth and causes the horse to have a bad behavioral reaction. So based on, on these, to me, there's no downside to taking it out, and there is a potential for bidding issues. The other thing is, um, it looks really bad if you have a, a, a good trainer um, that had you do their horse's teeth and then uh, somebody else comes in and said, oh, Nick did the teeth a while back and there's a wolf tooth left in there. That kind of looks bad, especially in light of the fact that that could cause a bidding issue. Um, the other thing is blind wolf teeth 
for sure need to be removed. Blind wolf teeth, what happens is typically wolf teeth should be coming in vertically like this one. Blind wolf teeth, we've done some videos on that, are horizontal and they're under the gum. Those are very, very painful. They're typically the most uh, reactive ones. So blind wolf teeth should always be taken out in my opinion. Unless it's an old broodmare that's not going to be ridden or a um, you know, horse that's never going to be ridden, then the wolf teeth are not a problem. But in a horse that's actively ridden, I think there's very little downside to taking them out um, if you do it safely. It's important also to understand wolf teeth can occur on the bottom too. Those you have to be careful with. Sometimes they're encased in a lot of bone. Uh, and those extractions, the little ones are not a big deal, but if they're big wolf tooth on the bottom, it definitely takes a certain technique and somebody with good experience to know how to handle those. Um, you know, so those are just some some thoughts. I think that's a big thing to understand with a lot of things is there's a lot of opinions. Some people, you know what, they say uh, there's an, um, I forgot who, who made this, uh, this saying but it goes something along the lines of an expert is somebody who's uh, often wrong but never in doubt so just remember there's a lot of opinions with these things and personal experience plays into it so